Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I had a good customer stop by with a little bit of a mishap. So we're gonna squeeze him in between two of our larger jobs and take care of this. I thought I would take you along for the ride today to show you how we take care of it, number one. And number two, what paint protection film can do and what it can do when it comes to protecting paint. Let me gather a few things for the job here today. We're gonna to grab a heat gun. We'll plug in the Chief Steamer. We have pots of coffee all over the shop here for a reason. We don't drink it, but we use it to we use them to heat water. So we can bring the container containers over and slowly run hot water down the film. What does that do? It relaxes the adhesive. So you can then safely pull it from painted surfaces and hopefully not bring the paint with it. I will then grab the heat gun or the steamer and follow up, pick an area where I'm going to start to lift the film and carefully start to peel back on an angle towards me. This is... Uh, this can make you nervous enough uh, without there being damage underneath. Now that the bumper has grazed up against something, has it damaged the paint or cracked it where it will come with the PPF? Either way, it may need a paint job anyways when I get it off and do the inspection. So let's just be careful, get the film off of there, then we can do our inspection. We're going to take our time and use the heat gun or the steamer all the way across that front bumper. Be patient, take your time, and then the chances will be high that you'll find perfect clear coat underneath in mint condition. Now let's do an inspection. We can see it, what paint protection film can do. It protected that ridge, but it did not protect this ridge, which took the brunt of the impact. Down below, it took some of that. Um, I'm going to say the film took away a good 75% of the damage. Uh, there wasn't PPF on the headlight. We will have to do a repair on that. First, let me get the rest of this bumper removed. We're going to repair what damage we can and then put a new piece of paint protection film. Uh, the rest of the front clip has been wrapped. If it were mine, the, and the very first thing I would do and recommend and give the customer a card to a body shop so the bumper can be repaired properly, let it cure for about 28, 30, 35 days, and then put a new PPF on top of that. Uh, but I'm going to do what the customer requested for us to do today, which is what I'm showing you here. Now, Let's uh, take a look right down here. We have where the bumpers rub through, but let's take care of the headlight first because anything we sand off, uh, wet sanding, it's going to run down onto our repair. So let's start up top and work our way down. We'll start with 2500 grit. If we need to get more aggressive, we can easily and quickly do so. By the way, paint protection film does best against rock chips and light abrasions or uh, something that has um, brushed up or rubbed up against the body of your vehicle very lightly. Uh, our film is self-healing, so if you do find abrasions, we can pull it out into the sun or use a heat gun, and in no time at all, it will look fantastic again. Every now and again, stop, rinse off the residue, or wipe it off. Check your work. If you need to go further, you can, or get more aggressive. If not, it's time to polish out the sand marks.
Okay, for the most part, we are in good shape, removed a lot of the damage. There is an area where the plastic is cracked all the way in through to the inside of the lens. We can't do anything about that, but otherwise we can move on to the painted surfaces. For this area here, we're going to wet sand once again. We're going to fill using exact match uh, touch-up paint. We're going to let it cure properly, and then it's time to take it out, wash it, prepare it for the paint protection film. You want to make the area as smooth and level as possible so it's not pushing out on the film so you can fill and wet sand as many times as you'd like. Now the important part, it's time to take it outside and thoroughly wash. So we're going to foam it down, we're going to rinse and we'll rinse as thorough as we can, get into the corners and the crevices where the panels meet get any grit or dirt out from in between them so they don't flush out in underneath the film as we are applying it. Very important. Time to move on to the hand wash, the contact wash. That'll be pretty much the same as any other vehicle, except for sometimes I will break out a soft, small detailing brush and go in and around the corners uh, and the accents, uh, especially where the bumper meets up with the bottom of the headlights, the bottom of the grill, uh, and the fog lights down below. Again, just to make sure there's no grit hiding in there.
And that gives me one last chance to take my time and rinse as much of uh, that dirt out of there as possible. If it gets down in between the film into the adhesive while you are uh, applying the film and you squeegee it down and you have to lift, well, there's a chance of lift marks, and then you have to go dig that grit and dirt out of there or it would, will push out onto the film and you will see it. That is not a clean install. The next thing we want to do is bring it in, break out our alcohol or panel prep and go over it one more time. Quick tip, things are going to change here again very soon, but in the meantime, we are correcting paint very near where we have a clean room set up for the paint protection film. Right now we have to back, when we're washing the car, one of us is inside uh, sweeping up and mopping and wiping down all the flat surfaces to make sure the room that we're going to apply, the film right here, is perfectly clean. We break out the detail keg and we are going to go over the bumper one more time by spraying the slip solution on it and squeegeeing it. The car has been sitting for just a few minutes, just enough time for dust to land on it. We're going to squeegee that off and then quickly get the film, uh, the backing pulled off of the film and onto the car. Before we do that, we spray it down with the slip solution one more time and get the whole bumper, the entire bumper, soaked. We'll pull the backing away and soak the adhesive portion of the film as well. With the bumper and the, the adhesion portion of the film soaked, they can get it on there and it will quote unquote float. It will be able to move around on the bumper without the adhesive grabbing onto the surface so they can align it properly, get all the corners lined up just how they want it to, and start to squeegee out that soapy water. It is a mix. Every film has a little bit of a different mix or ratio for it. And uh, the same goes for the tack solution, which is alcohol isopropyl alcohol water mix. In no time at all, the bumper piece of paint protection film is installed. We're going to back it out, walk around, take a look. Uh, we want to look for any air bubbles or moisture bubbles, but this gives me a chance to give you a before and after. Not exactly how I would have gone about it, but looks a little bit better. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. We always remember that the customer is the boss, and I believe we put a smile back on his face. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.